John Watson Transport Managing Director Nolene Watson was recently elected as the new chair of the Australian Trucking Association. She's been an ATA director for nine years whilst steering her own company following her husband's death in 1994. We visited the refrigerator logistics company in Becker's Marsh in Melbourne to talk to Watson about her new role with the VTA and the journey following Don Watson's death. Uh, Don Watson Proprietary Limited is mainly refrigerated transport. We operate up the eastern seaboard, Melbourne, Sydney, Sydney, Brisbane and Melbourne, Adelaide. Don Watson was, uh, transport was established in 1948 by my father, late father-in-law. He operated the company until 1973 and then my husband Don took over running it. Um, we grew the trucks during that time from seven trucks up to 39 and then Don died in 1994 and I took over running the company. It was a, a steep learning curve for me in the early years. I made lots of mistakes and um, as everybody does when they're taking over a new business. So it, I had fantastic staff, fantastic customers and a, a great industry that was a, a moral support towards behind me. They advised me when I needed advice. They would take my phone calls when I had a query about a truck engine or a, a diff or a gearbox problem. And I learned a lot from my fellow competitors. To be elected chair of the ATA was um, a great compliment to me and especially uh, coming from the other directors who felt that I had the abilities to be able to fulfil the role that David Simons filled. David was an exceptional chair and it would be very difficult to follow in David's footsteps. I'm lucky, I've got two children uh, that are following in my footsteps behind us in the company and we've sort of set programs up that they've stepped up to take over some of my roles and um, I've stepped back a bit in the main running of the company so that I can spend more time on the ATA issues. I'd like to improve the image of our drivers on the road and especially to the broader community. I feel that they are professional drivers and they need to be presented to the community as that. And I'd like to contact RMS and all the other state authorities so that we can have an understanding between the authorities and our industry of what's expected of our drivers on the road and what the drivers are to expect when they're pulled over by authorities. Being a woman in the, in the transport industry is fantastic. All of the men want to help you, they love to talk to you and let you know how it works, how we can get assistance, so it is a fantastic industry for women. We can attract women to the industry by promoting the industry to be positive towards females.